Hi there, this is Amog, the product marketing manager at Recruiter Flow. Today I'll be showing you how you can make changes to multiple candidate and contact profiles on Recruiter Flow. So I'm currently on the candidates tab in the product. And as you can see, I'm able to view a lot of candidate profiles. Uh, let's say I want to make some changes to Ashley, Tui and Corey's profiles. So I'm going to select these profiles first and then click on update fields over here. As soon as I do that, so I'll be shown a new window titled bulk update fields. Over here, I have two options. One is the field, the other is the action. So in the field box, I'll be shown the different values wherein I want to either make a change or remove a value from. So let's say I want to change the source of these particular profiles. So I'm going to select source. And then in the action box, I'm going to select change to. As soon as this is done, I'll be asked to input a new source to these particular profiles. So I'm going to select, let's say I'm going to select referral over here and then just hit on update fields. As soon as I do this, I'll be asked to reconfirm whether I really want to take this action. If you want to go ahead, then I have to just do what the message is asking me to do over here, which is I enter three and then hit on update fields. Yep, that's done. Now your bulk action for key records has been completed. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to click on Ashley's profile and see the source is now via referral. Great. Perfect. So now I'm going to show you how I can remove these particular values from certain profiles. So again, now I'm going to make some new changes to new profiles. Let's say I select James, Tom and Rob over here. Then I'm again going to hit update fields here. The same window opens again. I'm going to now remove values from their location field. So I click on location, then in the action field, I just choose remove values. Once this is done, I have to again hit on update fields. Again, I'll be asked the same message whether I really want to move ahead by making these changes. I have to just confirm by hitting three here, update fields. And yes, your bulk action for key records has been completed. So I can now go and check whether their location has been removed or not. Yeah, location is not present in the profile now. So in addition to making a change or removing a particular value, we can also add values to certain profiles. Now let's say I want to add skills in the profiles of all these candidates. So I'm going to now make a bulk selection. As you can see, all the candidate profiles have been selected. Now I'm going to hit on update fields again and then choose skills in the field box. In the action box, I'm going to choose add. And let's say I want to add marketing as one of the skills. Choose marketing and sales as the other skill. So once the additions are made, again, I can make multiple skill additions here, but just for this particular video, I'm showing just two skills. Once this is done, I'm going to again hit on update fields. I'll be again shown this particular window asking me whether I want to confirm this change. So just like the message says, I'm going to hit 20 and update fields done now let's see how this looks in the profiles so i'm gonna go to james profile here and like you can see the profiles node was updated via bulk update uh, so yeah this is our new feature uh, it's the same workflow for contacts as well you can just go here select the contacts that you want to update click on update fields and it's the same box and the same workflow. Uh, so this is a new feature bulk update. Let us know what you think. And if you need any help, please feel free to contact us.